welcome back YouTube. This is Brada Kimo from Reload Hawaii throwing down another knife review for you this evening. Uh, and as you can see, we've gone cuckoo for kukuri. <laughs> Hanging out with GK and Co. Kukuri House. These are their domain names. I bought mine from Kukuri's online. You can see both their physical addresses in Nepal and in California. Um, as mentioned in the last video, this is a major reason why I decided to buy uh, from these guys because they're in the US and let's face it guys if you have a customer service question it's gonna be a lot easier to contact somebody in the US than it is in Nepal um, but again quick shipping I think they use USPS my knife in stock got to be three days uh, and the shipping costs for me I think it's more than reasonable as compared to paying for international shipping via Nepal uh, and again great customer service and again, uh, you can find these guys on Amazon.com. So if you have some uh, Amazon.com gift cards, you can use them there or on eBay. Uh, if you got an eBay credit card or another way of paying for them, you can you know find them uh, on any of these domain names, eBay.com or as well as Amazon.com. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so as you can see here, there are three kukris on here. Um, we're going to be talking about mostly the American Eagle. But just really quickly, I had some questions about, you know, how do you tell the difference between all the kukris here? Uh, just really quickly, if you, if you happen to be looking at the American Eagle kukri and the chukri, uh, here you go. Here's some differences. Uh, you can see the finger guards are almost identical style. This one's a little bit longer. They both have identical finger grooves kind of cut into them. You got three rivets versus two rivets. This handle is a little bit longer. Both of them roll down into the American Eagle pommel. And guys, just a quick note, this thing is nasty. If you smack somebody in the skull this, they will die. You know, you'll fracture a skull very easy. Just a great impact device to have at the end of your knife here. Uh, and as you can see, they both have lanyard holes. So you can put a, uh, maybe some paracord through it to lash it to your wrist when you're chopping. Uh, I'm going to flip these up so you can see that they're both full tang. They run all the way down. You can see the handle here is a little bit more shiny than the handle here. Uh, and that's because this is made out of water buffalo horn. They might have dyed it black. You can see a little bit of white coming through here. Uh, this one's made out of rosewood. Uh, and I got to tell you, I have kind of small hands, uh, but this handle just feels better uh, in my hand. It could be because it's a little bit larger, but I prefer this handle style as well. It just looks sick, man. If I could get this handle on that knife, I'd be stoked. Uh, and to be honest, you might be able to customize this. I'd give them a quick call. Uh, you know, call the customer care guys and see if they can order you one. That'll probably lengthen the amount of time that you have to wait for it. But if that's what you want, that's what you want. Uh, really quickly, uh, mentioning the full tang, I'm going to get my fingernail on here. That's my pinky fingernail just to show you the thickness of the spine right up until the angles down here. It doesn't really taper much until it hits right about here. It gets a little bit thinner. Uh, you can see that it maintains its thickness all the way down to the blade point. Um, that's kind of important because when you compare it to the chukri, which starts off as the same thickness here again on the spine, when it hits here, it just gets scary. It tapers down so thin. Uh, as I flip this on the side, you can see that there's that swedge that I mentioned um, <clears throat> in the last video. And if I put these back to back, you can see that the American Eagle has a more of a traditional uh, kukri angle versus the swedge here. Um, and when you look at it, here I'm going to go uh, finger guard to finger guard here, and I'm going to drag them down just so you can see that you know the angles here are already off because the blade lengths are different they're both listed at 10 inches but as you can see the american eagle on the left is longer so you have a longer thicker bigger belly blade here i'd say that this would be a better chopper than this one so this would be your uh shorter uh pointier switch blade for stabbing so you got your chopper in this half and you have in this half Either way, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near one of these when they're coming down. Uh, but there you go. There's a little bit about the American Eagle 10 inch and the Chukri uh, 10 inch in case you are looking at both of those. Those are the differences. Uh, let me get little brother back in here so we can kind of review both of these guys. Put that down the top there. Okay. Um, all of these blades are going to be made from leaf springs, high carbon steel, basically recycled metal from the leaf springs on vehicles from the Nepal. Um, here are the measurements. You have a five inch blade here with a four inch handle, roughly about nine inches here as you can see. Let me move that up a little bit so you can see that. Um, this is rosewood though. Uh, the bigger brother does have the horn, uh, water buffalo horn uh, for the handle. Uh, but as you can see, 
it maintains its thickness just like its bigger brother. You know, very thick spine. Full tang running all the way through. There's the rosewood handle. Same finger guard, same finger grooves here. Same American Eagle pommel with the uh, lanyard hole there. Uh, and it's just big enough, that uh, four inch handle, to reverse grip and stick your thumb on there. Uh, you might be able to use it as a concealed um, uh, protection self-defense blade. Uh, up to you what you want to run. Uh, again, 10 inch blade up here, uh, five inch handle, so 15 inch overall length. Just ridiculously long. Um, I did have a question on sharpness because I didn't do, haven't done any cutting videos on the Chukri yet, but let me just use the five inch to kind of show you a, a quick paper cut test. Pretty good, not bad. That's right out of the box. So for those of you guys wondering, you know how sharp they are. For me, that's pretty sharp. Uh, up to you if you want to make it a little bit sharper. Uh, you know, everybody has their different taste, uh, but that's how they come out of the box. You can see that it's kind of slattered with oil on there. Uh, so if you're worried about it, uh, you know, rusting and shipping, don't because there is a lot of oil on it. If you don't like the oil that's on there, remove it, replace it with something that you do like. Um, shipping wise, they do come with this uh, kind of material linen paper shipping and it's wrapped in yards of bubble wrap. So don't worry about it being damaged. And even if it is, don't worry, they're gonna take care of you. Like I said, the customer service is pretty fantastic. Um, and again, shipping was about three days if the blades are in stock. Uh, let's go over the sheaths here really quickly. There is the five inch sheath. Uh, to me, again, don't know much about leather work, but I, I'm impressed. It's got the leather tip down here. There's your belt loop at the top. I'm gonna to flip it over so you can see the riveting here. Uh, and there's a the stitching. I don't see really any evidence of um, you know, sloppy gluing anywhere. That. And that is kind of a brown red color, um, and that goes with that guy here. Here is the sheath for the 10 inch, uh, and very much like the Chukri, riveted on that side, and it's removable in case you want to uh, carry it reverse grip or if you're left handed. Uh, there's some of the stitching, and it gets down into the, uh, the belt loop here. So if you want to lash it to your leg, you can do that as well. Uh, it does have two notches on the top here uh, because it does come again with the uh, Carta and the check mech for field sharpening and detailed work in the field. Uh, so again, when you get the bigger knives, it's kind of like you get three blades for the price of one, like that. Uh, going over the Rockwell harness again, I think these are going to be the same no matter what blade you buy from them, but uh, just so that it's in the video. Spines coming in at 22 to 25 Rockwell. Belly at 45 to 46, uh, and the edge is hardened to 58 to 60 Rockwell. So, you know, they're not just throwing blades out there to throw them out there. They're actually putting some quality behind that. And again, it's all listed on the website. Um, but that's it, guys. That's the uh, uh, end of the, the video review there. So, if you guys have any comments or questions about the blades or how I order them or even experience I had about talking with the customer care guy, because I've talked to the same guy a couple times, always the same guy, um, couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, it's been fun. Thanks for uh, tuning in to the quick cook review. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Brother Kimo from Reload Hawaii. Audi.